Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're going to do what I call the Mr. TIG series. And what I want to do is introduce to you uh, products that I evaluate, and sometimes these products are very impressive, and they're only missing a few things. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken a product and I'll add to it. So when you get that product, if you get it and it has a Mr. Tig Series sticker on it, then I've either added something or changed something on the machine. So it's not the same. When you get it home and you open it up, it's going to have absolutely everything that you need to get started. So let's get started with this Power Plasma 50. Uh, we've tested it. It tests out very nice. Uh, a few things we don't like about it, it's not 100% complete and very few machines are. And usually the manufacturers do that because they don't want to start adding things because it adds to the price point. But here's what's important. This machine, when you open it up and you have all these fittings, they got to be right. You don't want to have to go back to the hardware store. So what we've done is we've taken this product and we've added features like uh, you'll see it on the back here. We've added an extra air filter, and we've done that because it's very, very inexpensive to do, and it saves your torch and it saves your tips. Now, what we found was inconsistencies in the fitting, in the air fitting, so we're going to provide you with all these little products. So if you need this, great. If, if your hose fits it perfect, not a problem. If not, just throw this one away. So uh, take a look. We have, we have all the tips on here. Uh, one of the things it doesn't come with is, it doesn't come with a helmet. It, that adds cost to it. So what we're going to do, plasma cutting doesn't require a full helmet most of the time. So uh, we're going to put this in your kit. Uh, so it's, they're safety glasses, they're shaded, and I'm going to use them to cut these products here, and I'm going to show you how to cut these products. So that comes in your kit. The torch comes, and that's a pretty standard product. All the spare uh, tips that you need. Uh, the machine itself, ground clamp, and we're also going to provide a dust cover or a moisture cover. And it's a, uh, it's, it's a very durable material. It's not 100% dust free, obviously. It's got to be super tight to be dust free. But anyway, you cover your machine, and it's going to keep a lot of the dust and moisture away from your, your controls. So uh, we call this a Mr. Tig Approved, and you'll see this on all the different machines that, uh, that we approve. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to go around to the front of the machine and describe how to use it. And then we're going to set the machine at the right amperage. And, and the reason for that, it's so easy to set this machine at its maximum. This thing will go up to 50 amps. You can cut three-quarter inch steel at 50 amps. Now, you can also cut sheet metal at 50 amps. But the thing about it is it'll wear out your tips quicker. So we're going to give you a good reference guide. And I'm going to go from a sheet metal all the way up to half-inch aluminum. Now, something I want you to keep in mind with aluminum. Aluminum particularly absorbs a lot of energy, and it absorbs almost twice the amount of energy. So you're going to see that the amperage has to be a lot higher. Uh, for example, I've got half-inch thick aluminum here. It's not going to cut much heavier than half-inch thick aluminum, and, and I'm going to be maxed out on it. So let me get my, uh, my gear on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this over the machine. Okay, so just, just so you know, you can cut into this material. If, if you want to cut a relief for a cable or something, you can cut straight into it. It's not going to start fraying or anything else. So you can custom match any of the cables, any protrusions that you have. But uh, I'm going uh, to come around here shortly after I uh, get everything set up and show you how to use the machine. Okay, now I've, I've turned the machine on. I've hooked up the air. Uh, there's only a couple of functions you have to really worry about on the front of this machine, and one of them is the air function. So make sure that you set it at about 70 uh, PSI, 70, 72 is the sweet spot. Uh, if it goes any lower than that, if your compressor can't keep up with it, then you'll start seeing some uh, kind of riveting activity in your torch. So keep it up there at 70. It's going to drop automatically when you're working, so don't worry about that drop while you're working. It's just when you're in front and seeing if your uh, air is keeping up with it. So 70 to 72. Uh, the only other thing is I'm going to be doing sheet metal right now. So in order to, to really get the most out of these tips, I'm going to cut this at, oh, about 20 amps. So there's a big knob on there, set it at 20 amps, and I can cut sheet metal all day long. Uh, the other thing is I've got a little guide here. And this guide is designed 
to create an offset so you're not rubbing your tip on your part. Well, that sounds easy, but when you start getting into contours and tough spots, you may want to take this guide off and just you have to work your way around uh, you know, some kind of a contour. So if you're doing long runs, go ahead and put this on. If it's straight, put this on, it works great. But this is rusty steel. All I have to do is make sure I get a good ground on it. Again, I'm set at 20 amps, so I just want you to know that I'm going to progressively go through some different materials just to give you some, uh, just some rough settings. So as I lean over here, uh, the pilot arc is going to start as soon as I pull the trigger. Travel speed is relatively, relatively fast, and I can cut just about any shape that I want. Okay, you probably noticed that the flame coming off the torch here stayed on after I finished cutting. Well, that's because I've got a little toggle switch there that allows me to run this thing as a manual machine, meaning I could trigger it on off here, or I could put it into a CNC mode. In your kit, you're gonna see this little blue thing right here. What this is is an adapter, and it plugs in the back, and if you wanna go into CNC uh, controls, you can. So that's with your, your kit. I went ahead and I switched the machine back to manual. Now I'm going to do another cut. You're going to see how quickly it, it extinguishes as soon as I let off the trigger. Got a little bit of post flow in there. It cools the torch down a little bit. I put in about 10 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to go on aluminum. Now remember, aluminum it absorbs more energy, so it, it takes more amperage to cut through. And this isn't real heavy aluminum, it's uh, 80 thousandths. And I have two different types of aluminum here. I've got one that's clean aluminum, and I've got one that's been powder coated. So I'm going to set this machine on what I think 30 amps is plenty to cut through this. The cut isn't as clean, it leaves some slag of some sort. Um, Anyway, we'll, we'll show you that, that drop through, but I'll do both of these with the same setting. Now, I'm also going to do steel. This is a quarter inch thick steel, and it's, you know, twice the thickness, uh, you know, if not more. It only requires 30 amps, so you're going to see a big difference right off the bat. Okay, so here's, here's the, the clean aluminum, and, you know, I'm, I'm grounding it. Uh, you can get a clamp on it. Okay. I'll turn it over. You know, at 80 thousandths, there's not much drop through, not much slag at all pretty good travel speed and you kind of have to control that travel speed. It's kind of like TIG welding. You just got to get a nice smooth rhythm going. Okay now just so you know as long as I get contact on the bottom of this this will cut right through powder coating. So uh, I'm, I'm holding it with hand pressure contact. There we go. So I just cut a chunk out of it. it smells kind of funny but it cuts just fine. Now let's see what I can do on steel over here. Now I've gone up to quarter inch thick steel. Let's see if I can knock off the corner here. Not a problem. All right, now just for grins, I think this is gonna take 50 amps to cut through this half inch thick aluminum. My machine is set at 30. I'll, I'll see if I can do it. If not, I'm going to go ahead and I'll set the machine up to the full 50 amps. Okay. 
You know, it looks like uh, if, if I cut it 30 amps, you know, it, it tries to cut through, but you can see that there's, there's some slag there. They call that dross. It just didn't punch through cleanly. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and set this machine at the full, full 50 amps. Okay, so at the full 50 amps, you can see that it cut, piece fell off, and let's take a look at the, the, drop, the drop through. And you can notice that it's a pretty clean cut, but again, aluminum absorbs the daylights out of energy, so it's not a great cut. Steel, not a problem. Thinner material is not a problem. Uh, you know, even if I go up to three quarter inch steel, which I've tested this, it, it will cut it. It gets a little rough, but that's about the max you want to play with. If you want to test it and go up to one inch, you can. Uh, it's just that it leaves a pretty, pretty ugly, ugly cut. Anyway, so uh, I just want to repeat, if you want to save this tip, if you're doing long runs, go ahead, put this guide on, and use it to your advantage. Make contact, slide all the way across. You can set this thing up on a CNC if you want. but. Um, you know, we, we looked at it, we tested it, we liked it, we enhanced it, we put all kinds of little extras on it just so when you get it, it's ready to go, it's safe, it's got a double filtering system on it, uh, so it'll handle everything that you want. Uh, the best part about it is it's got good value. Uh, you know, it's in the, the mid, mid to uh, high 800s, um, so take a look at it, you'll see it on well.com, but uh, that's it for me now. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.